today we are going to talk about new task chain in the data builder okay what exactly is this task chain task chain is used to automate the process of replication of multiple uh, data flows multiple uh, you know uh, either remote table or a view or data flows uh, on a scheduled time okay so how can we create a task chain it is this task chain is almost equal to process chain in our beta value but we, here we may not get uh, um, you know those many kind of uh, you know options like bw but it is kind of process chain where we can automate the sequence of steps are parallelly also okay so let's see how we can design a task chain so this is the default template whenever we create a task chain it was giving you know, default in this way here we need to drag and drop our objects into this uh, panel so on the left hand side we see remote tables views and data flows so it means these three we can add into our task chain so uh, i'm selecting a view here so when coming to these things what exactly system will do on these three when we create a remote table or a view uh, what will happen in the remote table and view definition we have a concept called persistence it means i am extracting the data from the source system um, and then uh, and then uh, storing the data in our sap data sphere persisting so that persistence activity you can automate okay based upon the filters you define in the remote tables or views you can uh, uh, per, you can extract the data from source and persist in our uh, there and individually also we have an option to for the persistence like uh, at a uh, view level or remote table level also we can configure this or if you want to perform this sequentially one after another in uh, and can control all in one single place then we will go for this task chain option coming to the data flow so data flow is not like you know data flow also can extract data and, and in the data flow we perform multiple activities which we already covered in our previous session and at the end of the data flow we are storing the information into one uh, database table here on the data sphere side right so that kind of activity also i can automate so these three we can be used under our, our task chain okay so coming to the design part so initially we will drag and drop any one of the one into this placeholder after that if you want to make anything sequentially then you can add next one for example if i want to add the vg sales one next to it then how can i do it by clicking on this plus add placeholder you will get one more placeholder below to it and you can add this one here now this becomes a sequential okay but for example if you want to you know do some parallel either parallel to this purchase order if you want to add something then you can go for you know uh, parallel extraction when you click on this pl not plus symbol yeah. you see when i click on here then what happened a parallel to this one a new thing is came okay so uh, i'm going one step back here so if you want to create something parallel to this gv sales one go to one step node above and click on plus symbol then it comes parallel okay or else if you want on the begin step itself if you want to go for parallel you see here you have an option add parallel branch then what happen if you click on the parallel branch from that no for that node there will be one parallel node will be added uh, if you click on plus symbol then it is coming in this way just you know do trial and error method you will easily understand how exactly it is working so let's add one thing into here also now whenever we have two parallel runs then what will happen after running these things then you need to add one more sequentially so when you click on sequentially we need to check whether uh, there are options after completing these two you want to go for a next step or after completing any one you want to go to go to next step so this is kind of under and our condition in our bw process chain okay so to add such kind of things we have here you know all and any all is like you know under condition any is like you know our condition so now when i click on all then what happens here i am getting all so from the second node i get connected to all right but how to connect the first node by clicking on this arrow mark then drag and drop you know uh, press it press it and uh, keep uh, the keep the control uh, keep pressing and then you can join in this way okay it's one second it's not came i'm heading to this done 
like this you can add okay i pressed the button and then after selecting this box i then release the button okay this is how you can add you know these things but all must not be the end point the error what it is showing is add something after this all so i am adding one placeholder and then updating this with something uh, a different node okay so like this i can design my task chain one after another and adding some parallel runs and all as there are some limitations we cannot start multiple task chains we can and you know at a time so if i go to the page here on the create task chain uh, what exactly it is saying there are some important node points are there for optimal performance it is recommended that you can start staging uh, staggering the schedule runtime of tasks such as data flows uh, uh, there is a limit on how many tasks can be started at the same time okay so you need to remember these points okay the uh, if you come close to this limit schedule task may run, may run delayed okay uh, this is about transport and any other important points um, so in the repository you see the remote tables views data flows that meet prerequisites that are available to be added to the task chain so prerequisites means here like uh, whichever we are going to add into our task chain those must be already deployed okay even in order to use your process if in order to schedule your task chain also you must deploy your schedule chain first okay uh, sorry task chain first so now i am giving a name to my task chain okay and data db underscore ac hmm, underscore two something i'm giving name in this way and then i'm clicking on deploy so where is deploy option yeah here i have deployed so once i clicked on deploy and they deployed successfully then i can get an option for the schedule of this one so how we uh, you know already in our whenever creating you know for remote tables and you know views we learned about how schedule how to purchase the data at the time so same options here also we have and the run, run status there is an option to schedule this is a task chain so go to schedule either you can schedule it on daily basis hourly basis weekly monthly you know or else if you want some complex logic you can go to this cron expression and do something which will be a little bit complex also okay leave it so then what else we have one more option called email notification so if there are any failures or success like at the end of the chain if you want to inform you know uh, then what we can do you can configure this email notification okay so you see here we have uh, three options send email notifications when the run has completed with an error and when it is completed with successfully send email when the run has completed okay either success either it is a success or failure just if you want to make it now um, you can configure these three okay for example error so what exactly options it is giving here we can add the email recipients so email recipients is nothing but the people the ones who are having access to this particular tenant so now you see all these are sap defined ids i think so we can add users and how many add users we can add max 20 users we can add at this point of time for the notification here on the email body you can write whatever you want according to this task information okay so this is how to create a task chain and how to model a task chain and how to we can schedule it and configure email notifications okay that, that's all for today